Okay, so we're continuing and we're looking at example 6.3, write down the domain of H. So if we have to look here, the domain of H. Now the meaning of the word domain is for what values, now domain meaning in, uh, right, in a function's context. It means for what values of X does your function exist? Okay, so when you're writing down your answer for domain of a hyperbola, you want to look at what is your vertical asymptote. And in this case, it's what? X equals to zero. That's my vertical asymptote. So writing my domain and my solution for 6.3 would be as follows. 6.3, it'll be as follows. It'll be, it'll be X element of real, which means that the graph will exist for all X values except which one x must not equal to zero. zero so that's how i write my domain x e r which stands for x element of real but x must not equal to zero mm -hmm. reason being x is undefined at x equals to zero so at zero x is undefined let's look at 6.4 determine the equation of f the reflection of g in the y axis the reflection of g in the y axis so there's it here y axis now when we reflect in the y axis there's my y axis here let's just look at things move from side to side basically it's going to move from from left to right or right to left now when you move from left to right or right to left remember that your y value is going to stay the same, but the sign of your x value is going to change. In transformation geometry, the rule is x comma y becomes, remember now that the y value is going to stay the same, so it's minus x comma y. So the sign of your x coordinate now must change. But if you right, if we look at this question, it says determine the equation of the reflection of G in the Y axis. So this is basically, you know, if they ask us to give a coordinate, but they want the function. So all we need to do is listen very carefully now. It says determine the equation of F, the reflection in the the reflection of G in the Y axis. So it'll be F of X equals two. Now Look carefully, it's the reflection of G, right? So what do we know about this particular equation, right? First of all, what is G of X? Let's write down the equation of G of X. So G of X equals two, what's B? B is? B is half, half, what we're gonna, uh, B is gonna be half, and then what's this? To the X, and then what's is the C value? So see? B and to be plus half. half right so therefore f of x now so remember now when we are reflecting about the y-axis when we are reflecting about the y-axis what are we going to change we are only going to change this value the x value so it's going to be half to the minus x plus half and that's our solution Okay, which ties up with this rule for any reflection about the y-axis. So basically, in a nutshell, all you're going to do is, when you have a reflection about the y-axis, just change the sign of your x value. And this now, it was plus x, you're changing it to? Minus x. Minus x. And that's basically it. Okay? All done. Can you do 6.3 again? Thank you.